All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms, data structures, beta. Learn basic JavaScript by building a role playing game. Step 172. All right. So the includes method determines if an array contains an element and will return either true or false. All right. Let's actually go through this uh, includes method in MDM. It's a little bit better example than this, right? So we'll come over here. We'll type in uh, includes method JavaScript into the Google bar, and then we'll uh, click the MDM web docs uh, page that has the includes method on it, right? And so to reiterate, it says the includes method of array instances determines whether an array includes a certain value among its entries, returning true or false as appropriate, right? So we've got this array one right here, and we've got one, two, three in the array as the elements, right? So when we do console.log array one dot includes two, it's going to give us true. Let's run it, and we can see, yes, it does. So now we've got const pets down here with a different array with cat, dog, and bat as the pets. What a, that's a wild, uh, uh, anyway, I'm sure, anyway, whatever. So what you're going to do, console.log pets.includes cat, all right? And we're going to expect true, and yes, it is true. But when we say pets.includes at, just the string at, it's going to go false because it's, it doesn't just take a piece of the string. It has to be the element itself, all right? So there's that, how that works. Uh, well, let's come back over here. So here's an example of the includes syntax. So we've got const numbers array equals one, two, three, four, five, like that. And when we have const number equals three. So if numbers dot array includes numbers, so if this thing, if this includes this, we're gonna do console.log, the number is in the array. So in this case, it will work because three is inside of uh, this. But if it was six, nothing would happen, right? So after our for loop, we're going to add an if statement to check if the guess is in the numbers array. Okay. Uh, we can use the includes method to check if the array contains the guess. All right. So yeah, that's what we're going to do here. We'll say uh, if, if, and we're going to do it just like up there, uh, numbers dot includes, all right? We're checking this numbers right here, this this array right here, which has all that stuff in it, uh, dot includes, and then we'll have uh, guess, all right? So we're checking the guess, which will be either eight or two. Uh, what we're gonna do is something, right? We haven't, we're, we haven't chosen what we're gonna do yet, but it's gonna be something. So let's uh, check the code. Looks good and submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 173 and we'll see you next time.